What is going on guys, Joe here, and today we'll be taking a look at some of the latest free iOS 7 compatible Cydia tweaks. Now do keep in mind some of these tweaks are not fully working with iPhone 5s and other A7 devices because the mobile substrate has yet to be updated, but all the tweaks covered in this video have been tested on the iPhone 5 so there shouldn't be any issues on iPhone 5 or iPod Touch 5th generation. Now to begin we'll start off with Hidden Settings 7. Now with Hidden Settings 7, all you gotta do is install the tweak, pull up on Control Center, and then we'll have Springboard Settings right at the bottom. Now what this is, it's gonna be Apple's internal Springboard Settings that you'll be able to change different things on here. You got Parallax, Folders, Icon Animations, Control Center, Lock Screen, App Slider, Card Display, and so much more. Now I'm not gonna go too much into detail on this tweak, but some of my favorite things to do on here is change the control center highlight color. Now you can change it to different colors that you see here. And once you select it, you'll see that the highlight color of the text or the icons is actually a different color, which is pretty cool. And like I say, you can change many things through hidden setting seven. So I'll let you play around with that. So go ahead and check that out. Now the next tweak is called Swipe Selection. Now Swipe Selection is actually a tweak that has been here for a while. It allows you to use gestures on the keyboard to move the cursor and then select the text. So instead of you having to try to double tap on the text to highlight it or something, or you just need to move the cursor, all you gotta do now is simply swipe left or right on the keyboard and then you'll be able to move the cursor. And if you hold down the shift button while you're scrolling left or right on the keyboard, you'll be able to highlight text, which is pretty cool. Also, when you hit the delete button, it actually deletes two characters at a time, which sometimes could get annoying, but that is something else you can do with swipe selection. So again, check it out. It's called swipe selection and you can pick it up for free. Next we have purge. Now purge is actually a new tweak that allows you to kill all the apps in the iOS app switcher via a long hold on the app cards. So you see here, here's my app switcher. And if I simply long hold on one of these cards, I get a pop up and then I simply hit yes to close them all out, which is pretty cool. There's no options to be configured. So simply download this, you install it, and then you'll be able to close out all the apps with a simple long hold on any of the app cards. Now next on the list, we have lock screen tool. So if you like customizing the slide to unlock text, you'll be able to do that with this tweak. So you see here, it says go to iPhone settings and we'll simply unlock it. And then we'll go to the settings and we go down to lock screen tool. And here on lock screen tool, we'll see the lock screen text and we'll have to have that enabled where it says show text on the lock screen. And we'll be able to write the text. So simply write whatever you want. You can add emojis or any type of text on here. And I'm just gonna write hello. And right below that, you'll be able to simply enable or disable the camera button. But once you do that, we'll simply lock our device. And now we wake it up and you see there it says hello. So with lock screen tool, you'll be able to change the text to whatever you like and also hide the camera button if you don't wanna see that anymore. Now the next tweak is called Zeppelin. Now I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with Zeppelin. It's actually one of my all time favorite tweaks. And what this allows you to do is replace the carrier text with an image. So as you see here, I have T-Mobile running on this iPhone 5, but if I simply go to settings and then scroll down to Zeppelin, you see that you can change it to different logos. So you got the Apple logo, you have Batman logo, Nike sign, uh, Android logo. You have a lot to choose from. But another thing is you can also even download different Zeppelin logos via Cydia. So simply search Cydia for Zeppelin logos and then you'll be able to download packages like NFL teams, MLB teams, or different images and then change your carrier logo. Now I haven't tried those tweaks yet so I'm not guaranteeing those to work with iOS 7. So you may want to wait it out or just try it. I mean it won't really hurt anything. But again this is called Zeppelin and it allows you to change your carrier text into an image. Now the next tweak is called Switch Spring. Now with Switch Spring, I can't even say that word, it's, it's getting me tongue tied, but what it is, it's sort of like Purge, but it actually gives you the ability to restart your phone. So you can either quit all your apps quickly, or you can simply restart your phone. And the way to do that, once you have that tweak installed, all you gotta do is go to your app switcher, and you can swipe up on the home screen card, and then choose an action. So you'll be able to either close out all the apps with one simple tap, or you can restart your phone with one simple tap. Now something to know, if you are playing music or something, and you quit all your apps, it does not close out that music application, so you don't have to worry about that. It'll close out every single one, except for the application that's playing music. So again, guys, this is called Switch Spring, which is pretty cool. I actually prefer this one over Purge, but I wanted to show you both of those in case you didn't care for restarting your phone like Switch Spring does. Now the next tweak is called Rady Spot or Raddy Spot um, or Rad Eye Spot. Uh, 
I, I'm pretty sure I butchered that big time. But anyways, what this does, it gives you a shortcut in the Pandora app. So if you use Pandora, when you're playing the song, and you'll be able to hit the options tab on the top right, or if you're on an iPad, you just hit the little dot buttons to go to the options or menu. And when you do that, it'll give you an option to open up Spotify to the search engine. So you can simply search a song that's currently playing on Pandora and search it on Spotify. And then you can get that song quickly if you use Spotify, which I highly recommend. I love Spotify, I use it all the time. And you'll be able to search that song that's currently playing on Pandora and then add it to a playlist or something. So that way you can listen to it whenever, wherever, on Spotify. But that is what Ready Spot does. Uh, like I said, I don't even know if I pronounced that right. It gives you the option to open up Spotify from the Pandora app so it can quickly search a song title for you. Now since we're talking about Pandora, let's go ahead and talk about Pandora Skips. Now with Pandora Skips, you probably already know what this is. It's a simple tweak that allows you to do unlimited amount of skips when using Pandora. So this is great for you Pandora listeners. Uh, you can simply download Pandora skips and then you have unlimited amount of skips. All you got to do is simply install it and there's no options needed to be configured and you're good to go. Just simply hit skip every time you don't like that song and you can do it unlimited amount of times. Now next we have Tabless. Now with Tabless what it is, it's a simple tweak that removes the grabbers for the control center and notification center on your lock screens. So when you lock your device, as you see here at the bottom and on the top you have those little bars. With this tweak, you'll be able to get rid of that and give you more of a cleaner look on your lock screen. So if you want to check that out, again, it's called Tabless, and it simply removes the grabbers from Control Center and your Notification Center on your lock screen. Now, if you've been using an iDevice for the longest time, you know how to unlock your device. So what's the point of it saying slide to unlock if you've, you've done it a thousand times already? With SimpLock, what it does, it just simply removes the text from the lock screen and again, it gives you a more cleaner look to your lock screen. So I'd recommend downloading Tablets and SimpLock together. That way you get that clean look on your lock screen. So again, this is called SimpLock and it just removes the text from your lock screen. Now this next tweak is actually an application and this is called MXTube. Now MXTube has been around for a while and it just got updated for iOS 7, which is great. And what MXTube allows you to do is download any YouTube video to your device. You can download those videos and now it actually includes Vivo. So those high quality music videos, you'll be able to download even those and then play it back whenever. So all you gotta do is search a YouTube video and then go ahead and tap on it. And when you select it, you get the title, the description, when it was added and all that good stuff. But you also get the options to of course stream it or download it in different qualities, either in high definition, and high quality or low quality, depending if you're on Wi-Fi or using a cellular network. So if you select download, it'll start downloading the background. And then once that is finished, you'll be able to select that video whenever you'd like to play it back. So again, this is called MX Tube. I'd say go ahead and check that out. Now for the last week, this is actually another application that has to do with YouTube and it's called YouTube to MP3. Now if you're a music lover, this is a great little application slash tweak that you can download because what it does, it allows you to convert and download your favorite YouTube videos right to your iPhone or iPod Touch. And it saves them in high quality. So you'll be able to download videos and then have them as an MP3 file. And you can either play it, you can rename it, you can add it to your list and play it via the YouTube to MP3 app. Send that MP3 file in an email or even play it via the music application. So you can import it and change the album name, artist, genre, and different title. And then when you open up your music app, you'll see that you have imported the song that you downloaded from YouTube using YouTube to MP3, which is pretty nice. That way you can download your favorite music videos and then have them as an MP3 file and then put them into your music application and then make a playlist and all that good stuff. So again, that is called YouTube to MP3 and you can download that for free. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I know a lot of you wanted me to do a top iOS 7 compatible city of tweaks. So I decided to put together some of my top iOS 7 compatible tweaks and luckily they were all free. So let me know in the comment section below what your favorite tweak is on iOS 7 or just in general, what's your favorite City of Tweak? There's plenty more being updated for iOS 7, so I'll be coming out with different City of Tweak videos in the future as they get updated. But also let me know what you'd like to see in the comment section below in a future video of mine. But as always, go ahead and hit that like button if you did like this video. Not only helps me, but it supports the channel as well. And also be sure to follow me on my social networks like Facebook, Twitter, Google+, or Instagram for future updates on City of Tweaks or other news. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I come out with all of my future videos, including 
more Cydia tweaks and all that good stuff. But anyways, appreciate all of you all for watching and I'll catch you all on the next one. All right, peace.